Hello, my name is Sherry. I'm a singer, songwriter, and a producer. And today I'll be answering some questions about my music with BG. So this was me answering the questions that BG sent me as candidly as I could. I hope you enjoyed watching this. So Sherry, what inspired you to pursue a career in music? Dude, I've been, I've been wanting to be on stage since I was four, and I remember that Baba had my CDs like that for purane purane bands ki and when i used to see them perform mera was aur dil karta tha and over the years music had helped me so much up until right now until i started writing my own music ke the eventual goal just became for me to transfer my own emotions into music and that for that music to somehow hopefully help someone else the way it helped me all right shay can you recall the first song or artist that made a significant impact on you I remember I'll always remember. It was Life in the Fast Lane by The Eagles and Rock You Like a Hurricane by The Scorp The Scorpions. Yeah, it was The Scorpions. So Shari, who are your musical influences and how have they shaped your style? Do there's so many, but if I was really to bring it down to a few, so I would say a lot of the grunge bands like Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Audio Slave, and from the newer ones, I would say black there's travis and there's jaden and the way that they've affected my musical style is that they are unapologetically themselves in their self expression which is something that i strive for all right shay mm. can you share a particularly memorable or special moment from one of your live performances dude yeah i i still remember it was a show at lgs somewhere in johor town i think and i before playing psycho i remember i got the crowd to rehearse the chorus with me and maybe in the second or third time they got it and when i played it it was insane there was like 600 people singing the chorus back to me it was i i can't forget it dude i can't okay so the way i approach collaborations is that for me it is a chance to do something that i haven't done before and for obviously for me to have someone in the room to challenge me and for me to challenge them and then in turn create something completely different and obviously then the fun part about this is ke most of the people that i have collaborated with or eventually will most of them are people i've known for years so the vibe of the room is already set it's great and in terms of the people that i want to collaborate with i would say there's towers manu tq madlock and let's see what else life brings for us all right jali Can you share a challenging moment in your career and how you overcame it? Dude, yeah, I if I was to really be honest about it, I think the main challenge for me right now is to put together the project that I'm working on, which is such a vast range of emotions for me and for those emotions to eventually translate the way I want them to to the audience. So yeah, I I think that's what I would go with. That's the main challenge. All right, Jay. What has been your most rewarding achievement as a musician so far? Dude, I want this to be known that I am an artist through and through and my most rewarding achievement is always when fans come to me and they tell me that they connected to the music which has I am lucky enough to have seen this a few times now. And honestly mere liye to isse better cheez nahi ho sakti hai. All right. Hmm. Are there any particularly heartwarming or inspiring stories from your interactions with fans? Dude, yes. There's a uh, I remember this this show I played and this was the first time that the audience was hearing the psycho and they sent me videos from the crowd while they were singing the song while I was performing of them singing the song back to me and telling me how much they loved it. Oh, matlab tum ye dekho mere paas saved padi hai wo video. Main screen record karke rakhi hui hai as like a as something that i hold dear to myself fuck bro all right chari what advice would you give to young musicians just starting their journey dude i understand that this sounds very cliche but you have to be fearless enough to be yourself aur is baat ki gehrai tak pahuncho aap to ye actually bahut mushkil hai aur dusri baat to ye ki you have to have the right people around you you cannot do this alone bahut zaruri hai ye Where do you see your musical journey taking you in the next few years? In the next few years, artistically speaking, I would like to be able to make the music exactly how I have it in my head and have it translate also, build a fan base, and also we gonna blow the fuck up. 
I said it now. This is exclusive. <laughs>